Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing the part 2 of my haul series that I've got going on. And if you guys haven't seen part 1, I will link that down below. It should be the previous video that I filmed or the video before that. Regardless, I will have it down below if you guys haven't seen it. Now, this part two is going to be all about everything that I buy online, everything that I have recently purchased. So if you guys are interested in seeing this online haul, then just keep watching. So the first place that I want to start off with is iHerb.com. I will have every single place that I am talking about down below if you guys are interested. But like I said, iHerb.com is my number one place to get things like e.l.f. Also, I like to get real techniques and also just a couple of more kind of food items. So I ended up getting a bunch of e.l.f. products because I wanted to do a one brand tutorial using all e.l.f. products considering that it is now available in Kmart. You can also purchase it for a little bit cheaper online as well. So I ended up getting this clarifying press powder in the color ivory. Now you can actually purchase this product from Kmart. Um, I think it was about two or so dollars from iHerb, so it's like a dollar cheaper or so from iHerb.com. But you can purchase this one from Kmart if you guys were wondering. I've um, also got two of their lipsticks as well. These are I don't think they have a name. I think they're just the, like their regular lipsticks. Um, these ones were like $2 also. I ended up getting two of them. So the first one I got was Seductive, which is kind of like a rosy kind of pinky kind of color, I suppose. It's a very nice, neutral, deeper kind of color, which I quite like. So I ended up getting that one. And this one has already broke, which is not that great but this color is nostalgic which is a really nice uh very pretty kind of peachy nude color if you can see that there it's a very 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 nude color so i would probably put like a colored gloss on top of that if i find it to be too nude um or i'll just put this color on the bottom and then also just a brighter color on top just to kind of dull it down a little bit but i like both of those um also ended up getting this cream eyeliner in the color teal tease this is like a really beautiful blue color that is so appropriate just for a little pop of color maybe on the top lash line as maybe like a end of the winged eyeliner even just like on the lower lash line i think there is so many options that you can do with this color it is absolutely gorgeous and i really love that and then also another eyeshadow that i ended up getting was a mineral eyeshadow and this is in the color beachy this is like a really pretty purpley kind of blue color if you guys can see that i'm not going to pull this one out because it is a loose powder and it is so messy so I am just going to show you guys like this and hopefully you guys will be able to see it is a really pretty kind of blue color if you guys can see a bit of a better kind of I don't know view of it I suppose it's a really pretty blue color with just some really pretty iridescence in it Next product that I ended up getting from e.l.f. was their eyebrow kit, and this is in the color medium. Now, I actually really, really, really enjoy this little angled brush that comes with it. It is super, super tiny, and because it is such a thin brush, it really does make good use for underneath the eyebrow just to kind of outline it because it is so thin. Now, I really like the powder side of this. I'm not game enough to try that wax because it is dark. So, I ended up getting the medium because I thought that the blonde shade would be a little bit too blonde for me. I actually purchased this when my regrowth was like down here and my hair looked a whole lot darker So yeah, it may be a little bit too dark for me now But I still really really like it and even if I can't use it in the actual eyebrows I can probably use that color in the crease as a transitional shade just make it work. Now, I also ended up getting this duo. This is a under eye concealer and highlighter in the color light, and I actually really like the highlight shade. This gives a really nice kind of luminous kind of glow to the skin. Uh, very, very subtle though, but nothing too crazy. So I think if you're just getting into highlighting, I think this might be a good way to go because it is so subtle, but I really do like this. And if I am going to a sleepover or if I am going to Josh's for a bit, I will probably just pack this thing in there with me because it's the two in one and less product, the better and they also got the um, waterproof eyeliner in the color purple um, I got the purple color just because obviously it's different to black and I wear black all the time and sometimes it's just nice to change it up a little bit. Um, I haven't actually used this one yet so I can't actually tell you guys if it's waterproof or not. Um, I don't believe that it is completely waterproof. I don't think cheaper brands do super super waterproof 
kind of products I don't know that's just with my personal experience but if you guys have tried this and if it is waterproof let me know in the comments down below but I really like the color regardless if it's waterproof or not so I like the color and the last product that I ended up getting from elf was the flawless finish foundation this has SPF 15 it's oil free and it's in the color buff it is like way too dark for me this is like if I am like super 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 tan which I am never super tanned um, but this is way too dark so I'm gonna have to get a new foundation color and if you guys do know anything about the e.l.f. kind of foundation color kind of scheme, I suppose, I'm usually an NW20 in MAC terms. So if you guys know what kind of color that would be in e.l.f. terms, let me know in the comments down below. Now, I also ended up getting um, a few things from a um, online website called Shanghai Suzy. This is a UK, oh sorry, not a UK, I'm thinking of the wrong brand. This is a Australian owned and made product. Um, this is made by a former model who made her own lipstick line and I ended up getting four of her colors. These are beautiful. They're $12.95 a piece. I think shipping is around $6.95. They came in about two days to me, which is incredible. And I ended up getting four shades. She's got two different formulas that you guys can choose from which I absolutely love so I ended up getting two matte and two nourish so the first nourish shade is in the color gosling and I don't think this color is available anymore because they are limited edition all the colors so if you like them you need to order backups because majority of them are limited edition so this color is really really pretty if you did get your hands on it then yay for you guys this is a really nice orangey kind of color um definitely uh definitely definitely dupable so you guys can definitely find colors that are suitable um in other brands with this oh my god this this scent smells like hubba bubba grape legit like hubba bubba grape it smells incredible um i also ended up getting a matte uh, a matte formula in the color Miss Jade Orange. This is like a straight up orange. I love this. I think it's beautiful. Um, it is intense. It is so intense. I love it. I am obsessed with orange and I'm also obsessed with this color as well. So this is in the color Black Plum Miss Kitty. This is also a matte lipstick. I am obsessed with this kind of color. I just adore these kind of colors. I think they're really, really flattering for autumn and winter. Um, I just really like them. It's a super dark kind of ready purple color. I love these. I think they're super pretty. And then the last one that I ended up getting is Miss Hannah Blood Red. It is a nourish formula. This is a really, really dark kind of red shade. It's super vampy. I love it. It's gorgeous. Whew, that's about it. So I love those. Now, like I was saying about the UK websites, I ended up getting quite a few products from this brand called Re uh, Makeup Revolution, it's called. Um, everything is super affordable. Um, the shipping's not too bad. It took about about two weeks to get to me, which is pretty good for UK kind of standard shipping times. But I was really, really interested because of their lipsticks and also this product as well. This is called the Awesome Metals Foil Finish. Now, these look super familiar, just like the Stiller, um, the foil metal eye things as well. Now, these are like a sixth of the price. It is super, super cheap, and they are really, really nice. I have worn these. They don't crease on me at all. Um, and basically, you get pretty much the exact same same uh, products as the Stiller products. So you end up getting one of the little mixing trays, which I like, and then you also get one of the um, liquid eye primers as well, and then you also get this fabulous product. This is in the color Rose Gold. It is a beautiful color, and it's like a creamy kind of consistency. I went and actually felt the Stiller ones the other day for the first time, and they feel very, very similar. I think the Stiller ones may be a little bit more creamy, uh, but these still go on absolutely gorgeous so they are super super intense if you can see that they are absolutely beautiful so I think they are definitely worth giving a go if you don't like these then it will save you the money of, of splurging on the Steeler products um, and then I also got this other product as well this is in the color magnificent copper which in my opinion should probably be the rose gold shade but regardless I really like this I think it's absolutely beautiful I've worn this one before lasts for ages and it's in that intense kind of color right there so you can really build those products up or you could wear it a little bit more sheerer and it's just a really nice kind of wash of color so I really like those and then I also ended up getting four 
four of their eyeshadows. I've actually misplaced one of them. I'll probably find it as soon as I finish filming this video. But for now, I ended up getting some neutrals. I also got a really, really crazy purple shade, which I really, really like. But the colors that I ended up getting, this one is really nice. It's in sold out. All of these are like really pretty taupey kind of colors. So that's a pretty taupe. Um, also ended up getting a beautiful silver color, which is in the color Frozen. That's like a true silver. These are so nice. Just... I don't know. The pigment is really, really nice. These are very, very similar to the MUA products, but a whole lot better. Um, and then I also ended up getting Good Life, which again is more of a rosy kind of taupe color. I just totally dug my nail in it. We'll go for it. And I might as well swatch it for you guys as well because I dug my nail in it. So it's this kind of color here, if you can see that. It's a really nice metallic kind of color. So yeah, really, really enjoying those. Um, and then I also ended up getting a bunch of their lipsticks. So I ended up getting five, six, seven, eight. I got eight of them. They come in collections. Um, so I ended up getting like this really bright collection. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so excited. So I ended up getting this yellow which is intense now this um these are more moisturizing than anything the pigmentation isn't overly crazy but they do give a really nice pigmentation on them for the colors that they are and also they are very moisturizing as well so i also ended up getting a orange which is beautiful this is more of like a tangerine kind of color rather than like a straight up orange um which i do like because i don't own anything like that and then i also got this beautiful blue color which is intense and this is a awesome blue color it's like a baby blue um it's not like a dark dark blue so i'm feeling some really fun tutorials coming up with these I am so excited um, also got the magenta kind of color which is like the dark pink the pinks are always super pigmented I don't know why but yeah there's that one and then the last one in this collection is a really nice purple which I absolutely love and I'm obsessed with purple colors anyway so I'm really really liking that now I also ended up getting a couple more lipsticks from another collection which I think these are in like the goth collection so I ended up so I also ended up getting a couple more lipsticks from another collection. I think it was like the goth collection or something like that. I may be wrong, but um, yeah, it's a darker kind of collection. So you get three lipsticks in the pack and you think it's like buy two, get the third one free, something like that. So the first one is, um, I think this is the really dark purple. Yeah, this is the really dark purple shade. Um, almost looks black in the tube, but it is dark purple. Um, the actual really, 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 really dark purple almost looks black. <laughs> Um, it is like the darkest purple I think I own. It is intense. It looks black. It is really crazy. And then one of my favorite shades I think out of the collection is this one. This reminds me of MAC Rebel, but it's just got a lot more pink in it. Um, and it's a little bit more moisturizing as well. So I'm quite a fan of these colors. Um, and that is everything that I ended up getting from Makeup Revolution. Now I also ended up going a little bit bananas when it come to um, BH Cosmetics. There was no reason why I purchased anything off BH Cosmetics. There was no crazy sales going on. I just really wanted to give it a go. And um, there was a girl that I actually saw on Instagram. I cannot remember the name of, um, of her Instagram and also of her YouTube. I'll have it down below. Um, she ended up posting this photo ages ago of all of these beautiful glitters. And I was like, oh, I need them in my life. I don't have a lot of glitters. I feel like I need them. So... BH Cosmetics have really, really nice glitters, and I purchased quite a few of them. But while I was there, I was also shopping in the brush section. I ended up getting two of them. These are just like the blending brushes. They are massive. <laughs> they are so big. But they really do blend out beautifully. So I got two of those because they were relatively cheap. I think they were like $3.95, something ridiculous. Um, so I ended up going a little bit cuckoo crazy on the pigments. I ended up getting seven of them. Um, these are really, really beautiful. I've actually got one of them on my eyes. It's super neutral, so you kind even notice it but this is in the color pearl which is like a whitish iridescent kind of color um if you guys can see that so that's in the color pearl which is really really pretty i love this color i've got this on my eyelids right now this is in the color royal purple which like you can see it is a gorgeous purple color i absolutely love this i think this is really pretty i cannot wait to play with this one i haven't opened this one yet i only got these the other day so yeah this one's in the color Dusty Blue. It is a crazy ocean blue kind of color. I cannot wait to play with this one also. This one is so, so pretty. And I think I've got some good ideas for these ones. Very self-explanatory color. This is in the color Gold. It is like a old school kind of gold color. It's not like 
too neutral, it's not too yellow, it's just kind of in the middle. I really, really like this colour. I've always been a fan of gold kind of glitters, so love this one. Alright, now this one's in the colour True Red. I really, really love this one. I think we're going to say that about all of them because I really cannot wait to play with all of them. But this colour is just so intense. I'm just obsessed with it. So, yeah, I just, I want to put this all over my face, which is kind of unusual, but it's so, so pretty. Second last one, this is in the colour Baby Pink. This is really, really pretty, and again, I have quite a few ideas with this one. If you guys have any ideas on what you guys want to see with any of these glitters, please let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to play with these and do tutorials for you guys. Um, yeah, I cannot wait to play with that one as well. And the lucky last one is in the colour Jungle Green, and this is super, super out of my comfort zone, but I just wanted to get it anyway because they are so, so pretty, and um, I mean, who doesn't love green glitter? So that's all the actual glitters that I ended up getting. I also ended up getting quite a few of their eyeshadows. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys the names or anything of these, but I will show you the colours that I ended up getting. So just take out these two up the top. And I got all of these eyeshadows. These are all gorgeous. If you guys want to see any looks with these as well, please let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to do that for you guys. But I do have this kind of color here, which is in the color uh, BHC S09. So yeah, if there's anything that you guys want to see, please let me know in the comments down below. I would be happy to do that for you guys. So yeah, that is everything that I ended up getting from BH Cosmetics. Now I might as well end up showing you guys the rest of the things that I ended up getting from Makeup Geek. So Makeup Geek, I have never purchased anything from before, but I was actually watching Jaclyn Hill, which if you guys don't know her, you guys need to go see her because she is amazing and I ended up watching one of her videos recently and she ended up using this beautiful pigment in the color Utopia. I've been trying to get this thing for the longest time and it's always sold out so I ended up going on there wishful thinking that there was going to be any available and there was so I ended up getting this beautiful pigment um I'll see if you can I'll see if I can show you guys can you guys just appreciate this color for a second? Is it not the most gorgeous color you've ever seen in your life? I'll just let you stare at it for a little bit longer because it is beautiful. So there's the swatch of that if you guys want to gaze at that for a little bit longer. Oh, it is beautiful. Legit, the beautiful, the most beautiful color ever in a pigment. I just can't get over it. So, ended up getting that one. Now, also for Makeup Geek, I thought that I would get um, just a couple of their eyeshadows. I ended up getting two of them. Um, and I also got this Z palette as well, which I thought I would include. So, I've never owned a Z palette in my life before. And I thought, since that I have so many eyeshadows, that I really need to depot a lot of them. So, I can obviously make, ma I can obviously make more space. To get more eyeshadows. So I ended up getting this and I absolutely love it. So I ended up getting these two top colours, which I believe is in Peach Smoothie, which is this gorgeous colour here. I use this in my crease every single day. And then also, which one's this? This one's in Cream Brulee or Creme Brulee. Um, I use this one in my socket every single day as well, and usually on the lower lash line just to smoke it out a little bit. So I got those two, the C palette, and that beautiful pigment as well. So that is everything that I ended up getting from Makeup Geek. Oh, love it. And the last place that I ended up getting stuff from was beautybay.com, which I will link down below also. Um, just at the end of the checkout, I ended up purchasing this little sample size of the uh, Beauty Bay Mineral Foundation in the color Natural, which I thought was going to be too dark for me, but turns out it's a perfect shade. So I'm really happy with that. It was a couple of dollars. It was like, oh, I don't know, like $3, something like that. But I also ended up purchasing two palettes. I ended up getting the Cargo Cosmetics. Um, this is the Suited to a T uh, color palette. I actually didn't know that this was a cream palette. So I actually ended up think I purchased it thinking that they were all um, like powder shadows and that powder shadows. And then I received it and I was like, they look a little bit glossy to be powder. And I touched it and I was like, that's cream. So I was a little bit shocked. Um, and I don't know how I feel about it now. So yeah, if you guys own this palette or have heard anything about it, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Cause I'm kind of undecided and I'm a little bit disappointed because I don't think I read anything about it being cream, but I may have just completely skipped over it. So, but besides that, there are some really beautiful colors in there and of course I can make it work. Um, and the last palette that I ended up getting was this beautybay.com eyeshadow palette. This is just the Beauty Bay brand. Um, there was a couple of palettes to choose from. This is in the color Flawless Rose. Um, now, some of the 
this is actually a lot bigger than what I expected it to be. Um, this is a massive palette. I was like, actually, I was actually expecting it to be like half the size, um, and I received it. I'm like, holy guacamole, that is massive. But um, the colors are beautiful. Um, of course, they're very, very neutral. And of course, if you guys like neutrals, this is definitely going to be up your alley. There's like three or four more palettes to choose from, and they're all super natural as well. Really, really like this color, and um, yeah, so I'm really, really pleased with this. Some colors are more pigmented than others, obviously, but um, hopefully, I'll have a blog post sometime soon with this featured in it with swatches. So yeah, that is everything. <laughs> that I got. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if there's anything that you guys want to see in a tutorial or a get ready with me or a in-depth review. Please let me know in the comments down below. I'd be more than happy to do that for you guys. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I love you all and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.